Hi guys, go back to my channel if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and today we're about to do a review on Splatoon 2 and let's see if it's actually worth it. So let's go over the few things that Splatoon 2 is like major for. So let's get started. First of all, it's competitiveness. I mean, there's like, you do not realize how, how much you get into this game. And like, you know when you're playing Call of Duty, you get into the game and you try and wreck that game until you own it. But in Splatoon 2, you do the same exact thing, except you do not rage at the end of the game. Like, if you d got, like, for example, if you lost, like, or defeated to be exact, you would not be raging at the top of your lungs trying to figure out why. Or, like, realizing that you're barely getting, like, any XP and stuff. No, like in Splatoon 2, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's super fun to the point that it's not even, you can't even rage at the game. That's what I actually, one of the reasons that I love Splatoon 2, by the way. So, if you guys are looking for a competitive game, like for, and on the Nintendo Switch that you want to play on the go, maybe, like, with your friends, like, you know, competitively, this is one of those games that, like, really does the job, so... If you guys are looking for a co competitive game, Splatoon 2 is one of the games that you guys should be looking at. Secondly, the graphics. The graphics, well, they're okay. Like, if you're playing handheld, like, they're completely fine. If you're playing on the TV, it's the same thing, pretty much. But since it's like a Call of Duty kind of thing in third person, it doesn't really matter, like, if it's the quality or not, as long as the game is fun. Like, for example, Tetris, horrible graphics, but it's still fun to this day. I don't play it, but when I played it on the NES, when my dad brought it up from the basement, I actually really loved Tetris for some reason. I actually loved it. I actually have it upstairs in my attic. I love that game, but yeah. Um, next, let's go over in Splatoon 2 is the guns. The guns, there's a whole, ver ver whole there's a whole variety of guns that I was not expecting while playing on um, Splatoon 2. I mean, when I played the Splatfest World Premiere, I would, there was only like four weapons that you can choose from, like the spot roller, the basic gun, I think, I don't remember, the dual guns, but that was like pretty much it. But in Splatoon 2, well, the official game came out, coming out that I'm doing a review on right now, that, those guns are pretty much like extreme. Well, not exactly, but like there's different versions of it. Like, the splat gun, or the normal guns, pretty much. There's actually, like, three different kinds, or two different kinds. And there's, like, upgrades for it. And kind of, like, upgrades, which you guys, if you guys are gonna buy the game, you probably want to see what I'm talking about later. But if you guys are gonna buy the game, you're gonna understand what I'm saying. It's not exactly upgrades, but, like, there's these little differences in the guns. You can't exactly, like, pay for a new extra or something. But other than that, that's pretty much Splatoon 2 on the guns. I mean, other than that, you pretty much have to level up to get these guns. So, it's like every level that you achieve after, like, you... Like, since the leveling system is a little hard... <coughs> Sorry, I seriously need to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cutting that out. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I was just sneezing for a moment. Um, just sorry, it's just, like, really humid in my room right now, so that's why my nose is, like, getting all runny and stuff. So, that's pretty much it on the guns, but in the leveling system, since w the, the leveling system, the higher you go, the more you need to achieve to get to the next level. So, because of that, you pretty much, you only get, like, one gun per level, and that gun, I think, is better than pretty much the gun that you had before, which makes sense because it's the leveling system, it goes up and up and up and up and up. So, that's pretty much it on the guns. And next, I think, well, let's go over the maps. I mean, the maps, they're weird designed, but they're weird designed to the point that you can memorize them. But, like, it doesn't even matter about the maps. Even if the maps were, like, upside down, I don't know, like a White House, for example. An upside down White House, like, with, like, um... I don't know, a Minecraft Steve on the side of the wall, maybe. Sorry, I, I was, I'm literally just looking at my TV right now. I just have my Nintendo Switch open right now. Well, game open. So that's why I'm, like, saying random things. So that's, like, it doesn't even matter the map. Just because the game is so competitively fun that it doesn't even matter how the map looks or how it is. It's, the Splatoon 2 is still going to be fun at the end of the day. Um, other than that, that's pretty much Splatoon 2. 
The last thing I want to go over is the characters and the customization. Because the customization in this game, you can customize your character on like four different levels. I think it is his face or sunglasses or his hat, pretty much. Like on the face. I think you can change his shirt. Well, I you can change your shirt, I'm sorry, you can change your shirt, you can change your hat and your sunglasses, or whatever you have on your face, or a bandana, I saw some guys with a bandana on, so that's, that. you can actually have that on too, and on the shirt, you can have shirts on, D- e- like, each customization can give you, like, a bonus, so that's one of the things in Splatoon 2 that I actually really like, the fact that there's bonuses and customization to the point that you can get your guy so overpowered, but once you go against someone else, he's going to be more overpowered than you. Then you're going to figure out how to do this, 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 and that. And you'll be overpowered than him. I, I don't know exactly what I'm saying. But it's just pretty much on the customization level. There's a lot of things. So also there's pants, which you can change. But it's not like upgrades or stuff. It's like one of the th- first things that you choose when you start up Splatoon 2. You can change the pants and stuff. Um, the haircut, you can change your haircut. But there's only like four different haircuts. I don't know if you unlock more in the future, or there will be in the more in the future after like an update maybe. But I don't know. I don't know if Splatoon 2 is gonna have updates. But if there is, it's probably gonna up uh, update on stuff like that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all on the customization. Other than the weapons and stuff. Oh yeah, you can also change the shoes, which also you can customize and upgrade. Not exactly upgrade, but kind of upgrade. Once you get the game, you'll under also understand. Um. Other than that, that's pretty much Splatoon 2 for you guys. Hopefully you guys like this video, and thank you guys for watching, and peace. Bye. Peace and bye. Bye, 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 bye.